This week on eTalk, Matt and Kit show us how to throw together a last minute Halloween costume. We talk cute dorm room decorations and Colton Cataret is here from Sub to talk about the homecoming concert. All that and more, coming up. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to eTalk where we talk everything from LA to Elon. I'm Megan here with Courtney Alley and our special guest host, Carmen Zita. Let's jump right into the Halloween gossip for this week. So, so this <laughs> past weekend there was a Maxim's party and there was a bit of a Bachelor in Paradise reunion between um, Corinne and DiMario. Oh what do you guys boy. think oh, about this? What did Corinne do this time? I know, Corinne's my favorite look. I love her. Okay, her. Corinne is great. <laughs> I love her. Um, yeah. She's but are you here for the reunion between DeMario and Corinne? That's what I don't know. Because I feel like she's either like absolutely ridiculous or a PR genius. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of both. But I mean, honestly, is anyone surprised that we're seeing them together after True. all the drama this summer? I mean, we could have seen it coming. Mm -hmm. I know. And Halloween's spooky time. Mm -hmm. And Corinne <laughs> is really... Um, like you cannot expect anything from her. She does everything out of the box, out of the ordinary. She doesn't care. So. Do we know what they dressed up as? So Demario was like a biker boy kind of situation, and Corinne, I couldn't really picture it out. She had a lot of feathers, a diamond choker. I don't know what a she little wore. bit I extra. Yeah, yeah. 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 she was maybe herself. herself. Yeah, yeah. 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 she very much giving like Sharpay High School Musical. Maybe oh my she was like, like, pink in it. So maybe. <laughs> Let's just go with that. Yeah, Sharpay Sharpay. Evans. Yeah. Well, speaking of other Halloween reunions, mm -hmm. the cast of Halloween Town came Ooh. back together to memorialize Debbie Reynolds in the in the real Halloween Town, mm -hmm. which is in St. Helens, Oregon. And every year they put on this huge festival. It's called the Spirit of Halloween Town in Oregon, in that town where they actually shot Halloween Town. And they all came back and gave these like wonderful speeches like honoring her and then they said this spell they say in the movie to light the huge jack-o-lantern in downtown amazing. Halloween town so yeah cool. it was it's so ridiculous to see how completely is, different they've changed yeah and, they've all changed so much but like it makes my heart so warm first of mm -hmm. all they did yeah. it for debbie reynolds yes mm. they honored it in the best way possible by doing the spell and just mm -hmm. like bringing all of that together and I mean, come on, you're giving us all what we wanted. <laughs> you're right. giving the people what we want. Here for a Disney reunion. Yeah, yeah. that yeah. is amazing. But so, like, what is Halloween if it's not Halloween Town? Yeah, that's I know. That, and that's also the really only scary movie I can handle. <laughs> yeah. So every it's year it's I was watching it on Friday the 13th. I was watching Halloween Town and I posted a Snapchat story and I was like, what else are you supposed to do on Friday the 13th? <laughs> My friend responded and was like, watch Friday the 13th. No. No. It's called Halloween Town. I don't know. And it's just like, it always makes me like feel good on the inside. Mm -hmm. And Marnie is so like girl power it's and so feminism. Good, like yeah. it really builds you up. Yeah. And you know, yeah. Disney costumes are always huge at Halloween, especially mm -hmm. the Cromwell witches, but also yes. superhero movies are pretty yeah. big. Like speaking yeah. of feminism and girl power, so... This year, everyone is dressing um, like for Wonder Woman. Ooh. It's just like it's the number one costume of all time because it shows like girl power, feminism, like beauty. I love this. Mm. Everyone, everyone is coming together as strong women, dressing up as such a strong superhero. And I mean, we've seen this before that people try to do these like strong women as their um, costumes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it's so good. I it know. makes me yeah. so happy. Because Rosie the Riveter yeah. is always like a top one. I remember Trump. last year the top ones were like Donald Trump oh, yeah. and like the clowns after the whole like yes. class oh, yeah. Yeah. Year, yeah. Like, year of the, the clowns. Yeah. Yeah. It's always a good one. It's always a good one. This is in sharp but contrast just, yeah. to that. Yeah. Seeing, sure. seeing women come together to celebrate strong women mm -hmm. and dress up as strong women because that's what they want to be. Yeah. It's so good. Like power to anyone who's dressing up as Wonder Woman because... I feel you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Strong woman. <laughs> but um, speaking of Halloween costumes, our celebrity oh no no of the week is that the one of the new Halloween costumes being sold is Kylie Jenner. 
pregnant. What? I saw that. Oh, Didn't so people funny. do that when Kim was how, pregnant, though? Okay, no. They always try to do this. They always try to turn the Kardashians, the Jenners, into, into Halloween costumes. Costume, yeah. Last year was the worst when they tried to do the Kim Kardashian being robbed. Yeah, like the tied up. That was yeah. no, that was on awesome. another yeah. level of tactless. Mm -hmm. But I mean, even this, this is so stupid. You just look like a pregnant woman. <laughs> yeah, like how yeah. in a white, white dress. dress. It was just so a white dress. So it's not Kylie Jenner pregnant Halloween costume. It's uh, reality star in the making pregnant oh. costume. <laughs> And yeah. it's like the dress looks like what she wore to the American Music Awards. Mm, like, yeah. so it's very obvious, tailored to making fun of Kylie Jenner and yeah. being Kylie Jenner. And it's just not you know, that original. It's not that original. The you Kardashians don't look like Kylie have been Jenner. done as a costume. I thought it was really. I thought some of the Kim K ones were great when she broke the internet with that one yes. picture. The yeah, one that, that, those, those were amazing. amazing. That was me but last year. I love but Kim. you're really on top of the pulp called pop culture costumes, like especially look this at you today. year. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really excited about it. <laughs> but, I mean, be Taylor Swift, be your uh, junior jewels, and yeah. this, like, cost me $2, whereas the, uh, I mean, all I had to what? buy was a white t-shirt, right? Yeah. Whereas this Kylie Jenner costume is $56, and no. I'm like, no. Only for a white dress. You don't even That's look it. like her. You, like, pre-buy <laughs> this, like someone's selling this. It's a white dress, a baby bump, mm -hmm. and that's it. Yeah, so is it like, like a no. do-it-yourself or is there like a company yeah, like No, it's a company selling it. Yeah, it's a company selling it. Like that has to be it. Oh, it they're is gonna to make money. Yeah. And, like, sure and like I'm sure someone's going to do it and it'll be kind of funny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's just kind of. I don't know. They might be eating it up because they're milking this whole thing, like not letting us know what's happening. They won't address it. You know, if you're going to be Kylie Jenner pregnant, don't show the baby bump because that's what Kylie Jenner pregnant is doing. I know. So much drama this Halloween. Super exciting. Super scary. Next up is the Mosley Minute. Stay tuned. Everybody has a dream. Mine was to see the ocean. And with a little help, I made it. watching online videos like this one. Brushing for two minutes now can save your child from severe tooth pain later. Two minutes, twice a day. They have the time. Fall is in the air, Halloween is coming up, and Rachel, you're already dressed up, albeit a little bit early. What are you this year? I'm a sad girl. Oh, well let's ask Elon students what their favorite Halloween costumes are. Hey guys, so I'm here with my good pal Miranda. We're talking Halloween. So what has been your favorite costume that you've been in the past from your childhood or a couple years ago, yesterday, whatever? Um, I'd say it's probably a tie. When I was a kid, I dressed up as Cinderella like for literally four years in a row. So it was really original. Um, and then me and my brother dressed up as Woody and Jess from Toy Story. So that's adorable. Yeah, it'd be like, um, went around in like a wagon. Um, so that was fun. Um, my favorite that I've seen that I'm going to do with my friend this Halloween is, it's a pun, it's Taco Bell. So someone dresses as a taco and then someone dresses as Belle from Beauty and the Beast. So it's like really funny. Two favorite things, Taco Bell and a pun. I mean, you cannot get any better than that. It is pure gold. Congratulations. Kathleen, you look like an angel, but this Halloween, I don't think you are being an angel, are you? You should, you're beautiful. What Thanks. has been your favorite Halloween costume? Um, my favorite Halloween costume would have to be Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. When I was younger, I wore it probably five years in a row, and I wore the ruby slippers like <laughs> all year round. So. I did that too. <laughs> my parents also recycled costumes because <laughs> why not? <laughs> okay, so Abby, Halloween is approaching quickly. What has been your favorite costume that you've been yourself or seen online or sort of any inspiration that has come to you? Okay, so last year I went as WikiLeaks. So I um, put on some sunglasses and I had like leaks, like the vegetable and like the like, leaks. These puns are out of control and I absolutely love it. 
So Madison, after all that talk of spooky, scary Halloween costumes, what are you thinking of being this Halloween? Well, after some careful consideration, taking inspiration from the people we talked to and inspiration from my own childhood, I think I'm going to go as David Hasselhoff. That makes the most sense, <laughs> I would have to say. See you guys next week. Hey eTalkers and welcome to eTalk Style Corner. I'm Kid and this is Matt and we're eTalk's resident fashion experts. Today we are showing you how to put together some easy Halloween costumes in no time at all. All right, Kit, what do you have for girls this Halloween? So we know that like going out to a last minute Halloween party can be horrible and you don't want to spend it money can be on costumes. Honestly. Yeah, yeah, it's terrible. So the number one girls costume I thought of that was like an easy and quick costume was Risky Business. Oh, that's so classic. So basically you just wear like a big like guy's shirt mm -hmm. and either shorts or spandex underneath and the high socks and it's such a classic costume and it looks so cute. And then kind of a more fun one I had was the idea of like grapes. I saw it on the internet and it looked okay. super cute. Basically what you do is wear all green yeah. and then blow up small purple balloons and pin them all over your outfit and you look like a bundle of grapes. That's and I so thought it was cute. so fun. It's like Fruit of the Loom. Yeah, and it was so easy. Yeah. And also kind of what we're doing today, if you just throw on a jersey yeah. of any team that you like, of any sport, you kind of just look like an athlete. And I thought that was fun too. Oh, yeah. I thought that's cool. I think for guys, um, Grease is like really cool. You can do like a cool like 80s look, I guess 80s yeah. look. Like a white shirt with like a leather black jacket and black pants. Really easy, get some gel, the slick hair. back that hair. Exactly. Do a nerd, do some overalls, um, do some cool, sexy, you know, thick glasses. <laughs> yeah, I love it. For funny, for guys, you can do nickelback. This is a so good idea. So put like a shirt on and then glue nickels <laughs> on your <laughs> back <laughs> and be nickelback. I know that's like a really cool party favorite. A lot of people like doing that. And, you know, like you said, doing athletes for guys is easy. Yeah. Wear a snapback like I have here, put on a jersey, wear some khakis or jeans, and you're all set. Halloween can be set. Yeah. That's all the time we have for now, but tune in next week for some more fashion expertise. Next up, we'll talk some DIY dorm room decor. Welcome back to the studio. Today, Carly, Taylor, and Juan are here to share their favorite ways to decorate their dorm room or apartment for Halloween. Hi guys! Hey. hey! What did you bring for me? Teach me! Okay, so I created something that can be used on your dorm room desk or like a centerpiece for you know a coffee table that's in your room or something like that. Something small that will be able to fit but still really fall and festive. So I got this burlap Very and cute. you can really just cut it to whatever size your space or surface is. And then I got these cute little like velvety pumpkins. They're actually pretty heavy, um, but it's nice. It'll be able to hold it down. Where'd you find those? I found the pumpkins at a store in Burlington and then I found this at AC Moore and then I also okay. got the leaves at AC Moore. So you can either use real leaves from outside the ground if you want to be super festive, but I just decided to buy these because they also have little pine cones on them. So, so you can cute. either, yeah, you can just cut them off with like scissors or something and just lay them around as you like, or you can either just inter intertwine them through the pumpkins, really whatever you prefer. So. Really great colors. Remind me of being at home. This is like yes. the way my mom decorates right? for Halloween. Yeah. She doesn't go spooky. Yeah, mm -hmm. it'd be even good for like, how you know, or for Thanksgiving, for Thanksgiving yeah, like a table runner or something. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So I see over here you have something a little bit more spooky, like yes. very Halloween. Tell yes. me what you did. So this is definitely on a budget. So I know most of us probably already have like a jar or you can even use like a candle. Um, and basically you just get yarn and you just kind of wrap it around super easy, tie it. And what's nice is you can take it off after. So you can use it you, all year round. You can round. keep it all year round, um, yeah. And so it's just super nice. And if you want it, of course it's cute with like the orange and the purple, but they make it a little spooky. I just bought some roses from honestly the I dollar like store. I like the black roses. Yes, so and you cute. get some little spiders and you can kind of add on to it. So you can make it like cute and festive or like kind of spooky. So you kind of mix up however hey, you want. Hey, I like the spooky. I yeah. would go spiders all the way. Yeah. <laughs> super nice. <laughs> what did you bring for us, Juan? For mine, I just wanted it so simple because I don't feel like going to the store. So I was like, hey, I have construction paper. I have scissors. So I just cut it. I just use my wand. I cut it. I got the origami. And then you just basically pop up the head. And I'm then impressed. get the little toe wow. up and have it like that. Wow. And okay. you can put it on your desk. Did you know how to do this? Yeah, I'm very into like origami and stuff like that. So Very cool. Yeah. So awesome. you're going to do a DIY for us and teach us all how to do it, yes, right? Yes, definitely. Yeah, okay. can you yes. make them for gonna, all of us? I'm going to need that. <laughs> I, I need like a step-by-step -step yes, instruction. I will. <laughs> so you guys have some fun fall that can go all throughout. You can mm -hmm. turn this into an all-year thing. And you guys 
hit the Halloween. Yep. yep. Next up, we check in with our social media corner. Stay tuned. Take a look under your bed. Find stuff under there? What about jobs? No? Now try your closet. Still no jobs? Just more stuff? Well, you really have both. See, stuff is defined as household articles considered as a group. Sometimes this stuff is no longer needed. Wait, no longer needed? I can't be right. Because remember those jobs you were looking for? Those are really needed. And they're the stuff inside your stuff. Our job is to unlock those jobs. And it starts when you donate your stuff to your local Goodwill. Here's how we do it. When you donate to Goodwill, we sell your stuff to provide job training for people right here in your community. So just by teaming up with Goodwill, you help create jobs. And isn't that worth parting with the leftover guitar from your 80s cover band? Goodwill. Donate stuff, create jobs. Hey, I'm Tyler Perry. Do you know what hunger in America looks like? Well, it has many faces, and 16 million of those belong to children. Yet billions of pounds of food go to waste each year, and this is unacceptable. You can be a part of the solution. Join us in supporting the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks, which rescues our surplus foods and provides meals to many families in need. Visit feedingamerica.org today. Together, we can solve hunger. Together, we're Feeding America. Welcome back to eTalk Social Media Corner. We here at eTalk love seeing all of the crazy costume celebrities come up with every year. My personal favorite, Heidi, Heidi Klum. Klum. So obviously Heidi Klum, Klum throws a massive Halloween party every year where celebrities go and they go all out for their costumes. Especially Heidi and Klum. And of course, Queen of Halloween, <laughs> Heidi Klum kills it every time. So my every year. personal favorite costume she's done is what she did last year because super cute. She went as herself. That's when you know you and made it. And then she when you like go by your quadruplet or whatever the <laughs> heck five is. That's what she did. Whatever. Pentagon. It's so cute. No, but yeah, it looked so good. She killed it. Only she could go as herself for Halloween. And, and if this you go is just back, last year. Yeah. Like, if you go back, she's, she's so sharing much. now all of these pictures from past Halloween. Mm -hmm. And she's getting everyone excited for like her Halloween party this suspense. year. What are you? What am I gonna be this, this year? year? How much planning goes into all these costumes? Like she goes all out. I mean, how long do you think it takes her to plan these things? Yeah. And how big is the team? Because I mean, the makeup that goes into it, the outfits, the props. I mean, she had a horse one year. Like, it's insane. Crazy. If you look through, people are commenting. Dean Summer official agrees with me. Queen, Queen of, of Halloween. Halloween. <laughs> Next up, we are talking about what not to wear this Halloween. Stay tuned. Hey, eTalkers. I'm here today with Faith and Kit to talk about what you should not be wearing this Halloween. So, some costumes. What do you guys have for us today? So, I feel like celebrities always have a super hard time with Halloween because they're the ones in the spotlight. Everyone's yeah, they always. can't repeat. Yes, and it's like <laughs> the biggest deal. And I think the weirdest Halloween costume I found was Al Roker in 2015 tried to dress up as Charlie Brown. I could see where he was going with that. You know, they yeah. always play the movie and during it ended the holidays. Up looking kind so of. creepy. Yeah, and weird. weird. And like kind of childish and just strange. And I think yeah. it's always hard to like kind of play down the childhood role. I mm -hmm. think it's, it's like a sticky place to go for Halloween. I think he, he really tried. Um, I give him points for effort, but it just, Agreed. it did not succeed. Honestly, it was just very weird. One um, costume by Snooki. One oh, year she dressed Snooki. up, had a, I know, <laughs> you already know. It's you already, already know. And she had a milk carton on her head and she dressed up as a missing child. And I said, Snooky, no. You can't. Go back home. Change. change. Yeah. You put on a cat cat yeah. ears. Keep you could be a cat simple. this year. Yeah, like, no. That you just can't do. No, that. no. You just it literally was can't. not it. Poor Snooky. I know. And the worst, she tries. like, that I came across was mm -hmm. Perez Hilton as Miley Cyrus. I remember that. Yeah, in 2013. That, he I just. Can, Imagine. Too much. Just yeah. too yeah. much. She wore that like light tan, like tight like yeah. outfit that mm. she wore and it was weird. Yeah. It was super weird. He, just he likes to be out. talked about. So I think that was where he was going for. So mm -hmm. that was his mission is to be talked about, then he got yeah. what he right. wanted. Oh definitely. he definitely was yeah. talked about. 
I also really hate super scary Halloween costumes. Lance mm. Bass a couple years ago dressed up as like a super scary clown. No, and it was I hate really clowns. weird, no. and everyone yeah. just didn't know what was going on. And I, I think mm. at that point when it's too scary, it's almost off-putting. And I'm I also don't like clowns as is. Yeah. Right. So I saw the picture and I was just like, oh, I I would have been horrified if I saw him in person. That literally would have made me cringe. And so I bad. think that's gonna be it. Might be a popular one just because it came out right. recently. Mm -hmm. So Pennywise, you know, I try to spin it and be petty wise. I might do that this year. You know, <laughs> might that's hilarious. Spin it a, yeah. a little bit. That could be cute, but too scary is yeah. also a. The mm, clown mm. is always a really hard. Yeah, because right. right. clowns master. people are actually scared of them. Clowns, yeah, exactly. Years, yeah. like it's kind of hard to that line. The line yeah, the, the line is easily crossed. Definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you guys. Thank you. Next up, Sari shows us how to have a healthy Halloween. Stay tuned. Hey eTalkers, I'm Sadi, eTalks fitness expert. Today I'm here with Taylor and we're going to talk about how you can still have fun during Halloween and stay healthy. So today we chose candy because it's Halloween obviously yes. and we are going to do dark chocolate. Do you like dark chocolate? Oh, to be honest, I'm more of a milk chocolate kind of fan, but I'm trying to get into it because I've heard that it's healthier. So tell me about some of the benefits that dark okay, chocolate has. Okay, so dark chocolate is my favorite one okay. um, because I grew up eating the cocoa bean itself. Uh, but there's so many health benefits to dark chocolate. First of all, have you heard about how it makes you happy? Yes, I have. I know it makes me happy why whenever do you I think? eat chocolate. Is it just because you're eating it and it's like, oh, so sweet? Or why do you think? Well, it tastes really good. So, But what are, what's the actual reason behind that? So the science behind dark chocolate making you happy is because it improves your blood flow. So it sends, your body is sending more blood to your um, brain, which means that your brain is happy. So it's functioning. So the cognitive function of your brain is working even better. So that's wow. where the idea of chocolate makes me happy is because it's acting with your brain and so your brain is um, properly functioning more, even more than usual. So if you're a bit stressed out and you find yourself eating this cute little things, dark chocolate, <laughs> don't feel guilty because it's the healthiest choice that you can have. And the pure, the, the more pure the dark chocolate is, the better. Okay. Um, and I have a question. Do you think dark chocolate is vegan friendly or not? I would say vegan. Question of the day. Is huh? it vegan? Um, so I thought these were vegan, but then I read the ingredients because that's what you should do when you eat things. You should always read the ingredients and if you can't pronounce it, you should eat it. But anyway, <laughs> um, so it is not vegan friendly. It's not. It has milk. It contains oh, milk in it, but okay. it's dark chocolate. So always be cautious of what you're eating and remember dark chocolate makes you happy and especially for college students. That's all the time we have for today. Next up, we check on the Etal Kitchen where they are cooking up some spooky treats. Stay tuned. Hey Etalkers, Faith here, and today we're gonna make a fun festive Halloween treat that looks gross but will taste great. It's kind of a throwback to your childhood days, so let's get ready and make some chocolate mud pies. So the Oreo has that perfect nice little crunch and you get the nice like rich chocolate flavor from the pudding as well as the Oreo. And you can finish it off. Boom. Spooky gummy worm. Enjoy you talkers.
eat apples and bananas. I want to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I need to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. Why can't I eat, eat, eat apples and bananas? One in five children struggles with hunger in America. Support the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks to help provide meals to those in need. Join us at feedingamerica.org. Welcome back to the studio, eTalkers. This week, Elon student Colton Cataret is here to promote the homecoming concert on November 4th. So Colden, it's great to have you here. I know we're all super excited because we have John Bellion coming, so like top 40 artists, that's really huge. How are you guys able to lock that in? Yeah, it's it's a difficult process, and to be honest, um, it starts like nine or 10 months out from the actual show. So we start a survey um, in the fall, or fall, winter, late fall, I would say. Um, and we, we get students' opinion. We want to know, like, what do students at Elon want to see? Um, and that's when we're most successful. So we say, like, what genre do you want? What genre don't you want? And then we work off of that. Um, we have partners outside of Elon, so our agent has been really great helping us understand, like, what's affordable, what's not. Um, and we go from there and really hone in on that and, and try to get as much student input as we can. Um, but we have to be aggressive. We have to show off Elon and what's special about coming here. Um, we do a bunch of different things while they're here during the day to make them feel welcome and a part of what Elon's all about. Um, and being a part of homecoming is something really special, so we highlight that as well. Um, we're aggressive with pricing and, and then just dates. We have to be yeah. sort of flexible. It's hard because it's homecoming, but um, really looking at where people are when they're available and working that way as well. Yeah, and so you're in sub. What is your role specifically in arranging all of this? Yeah, so I'm the concerts director. Um, I oversee the entire production and event um, mm -hmm. from start to finish, from booking to long after, um, making sure everyone gets paid, all the logistics, operations, security, all that kind of stuff it comes through me. But I have a lot of people helping me as well. So. Yeah, so you play such a huge role in that. What is your day going to look like when John Bellin gets here on campus? Yeah, it starts pretty early. Yeah. Um, we have <laughs> a production meeting, like at 6 a.m. we start meeting, um, and just go over what's today going to look like, like final checks, what's changed, what hasn't. Um, and then from there, we're on the ground working um, pretty much from 7 a.m. when the production crew gets there until 1 a.m. when they're leaving. Um, so it, a lot of just solving problems, putting out fires, planning things out, um, just setting up the site. It takes a long time to get like all the barricades up, the lighting, the sound, testing that, um, feeding people. We have to make sure that they're fed while they're here, all that kind of stuff as well. Yeah, and definitely just like thinking about the fact that he's coming off tour, that's definitely different than what other artists who come here usually are. What's that going to be like? Yeah, so in the past, artists we've had, Matt and Kim, Mr. Wives, even some of the com comedians that come here, come with maybe like two to three, maybe five tops people with them. Mm -hmm. um, John is traveling with 30 people, um, which significantly changes the dynamic of what it looks like when they're here. Yeah. Um, and so we have to feed those people, we have to have a place for them to be, what are they doing during the day. Um, but also, they're bringing tour buses, they're bringing um, like tractor trailer trucks, which we haven't in the past had. So where are we putting those? How are they unloading? That kind of stuff. So it's sort of cool. It's going to be cool um, that day. We invite people to come and get excited and be there and check it out because it is going to be really exciting. Um, they need a bigger stage than we've ever had, more lights really? and sound than we've ever had. So it's going to be a really exciting event. Um, we've been planning, obviously, for many months, so we're excited to share it with Elon as well. So. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm sure that's going to be a lot of work for you during the concert, but do you get a chance to enjoy it at all? Definitely, yeah. Um, my number one goal is to enjoy it. I've been, a yeah. lot of work um, has gone into it, so hopefully I can sort of take a step back um, and enjoy it with the people who have helped me as well. So usually during the show I get to stop, grab something to eat, and hang out and watch it, um, but it picks back up again, as you can imagine, during the end as well, cleaning up and everything like that. Yeah, yeah. And I know they normally have an Elon group or band perform before. Can you tell us anything about that? Yeah, so we actually have an Elon student, um, Ben Waters, who is like a producer, EDM DJ, who's going to be doing um, our student tailgate stage. So we actually uh -huh. are partnering with w WSOE, and they're doing a stage um, beginning at 6.30 in our student tailgate. So we have Dusty's Donuts coming for unlimited donuts, coffee, hot chocolate. Um, we have Taza coming, Sal's Pizza, The Mission, all giving out free samples and food, um, as yeah. well as a beer garden for students. So he'll be performing in that space before. Um, and then we're looking forward to later this week announcing the main stage um, opener, hopefully, fingers crossed. Yeah, um, we're all so excited to hear yeah. about it. Thank you so much for coming in and telling course, us all about this. Of course, thanks for having us. And that's all the time we have for this week. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Until next time, this is eTalk.